there, Spiff fans. Space Lady Zoe here. And this video is about how doing hands-on engineering themed activities at home or at school can prepare you for exploring space. Whether you're building a rover to go to Mars or to your living room, you'll be using the art of engineering. Building something like a small, simple rover at home that comes with all the necessary parts and instructions is quite different than designing a car-sized rover from scratch to go explore another world but it does teach you some of the skills used by professional engineers. One of the most important things you can learn from an engineering activity is that things never work perfectly on the first try and that that is not failure. Rather, it's a key step in the process. The only ways to fail at engineering are to make the same mistakes over and over again or to give up. As you build and test your device, you'll know what's working and try to enhance that and what's not working and think of ways to change those components. In fact, during testing, engineers try their hardest to make their device fail. Let's get it really stuck. Okay. It's important to try every possible situation that can occur, to know under what conditions it will fail, and to come up with ways to fix or at least work around that failure. Exploring outer space and other worlds is very different from working here on Earth. And so engineers face additional unique challenges when designing spacecraft. Ideally, they'd like to have a lot of information about the environment their device will be working in. But in space exploration, we're always going places we don't know a lot about. That's the whole point. So engineers have to deal with a lot more uncertainty about the conditions their device will have to withstand. Another challenge is that spacecraft travel very far away and can't come back to Earth during their mission. And so engineers will never be able to actually lay hands on their device to maintain it. Any problems that arise have to be worked long distance via communications with the spacecraft's computer. There are also times when the spacecraft can't communicate with Earth, such as when it's on the opposite side of a planet. And even when they can communicate, the immense distances mean it can take several minutes or even hours for a signal to reach the spacecraft plus the same amount of time for a response to come back to Earth. To handle these challenges, engineers try to follow the rule, test as you fly, fly as you test. The first part tells them to do their best during testing to simulate the environment and procedures of the actual mission. The second part tells them to try and operate their device during the mission in the same way they did during testing. Neither of these things can be done perfectly, of course, but it's a useful goal to keep in mind. And in those times during the mission where they can't follow the tested procedures, that's when they really need to think quickly and unconventionally. I have had the privilege of collaborating with many engineers working on spacecraft, and the two strongest traits I see in them are creativity and determination. So the names of the spacecraft in the Mars 2020 mission, Perseverance for the Rover and Ingenuity for the Helicopter are a fitting tribute to all their hard work.